Imagine a sea monster that can swallow 9,500 cars at once. This brand new Chinese ship just shattered all car transport records. Watch until the end to hear unbelievable details of this mega ship. Every second delivers exciting info about this futuristic vessel. Its name is Anji Ansheng, owned by the SAC Group. It's a roll-on roll-off carrier built for China's EV exports. It can simultaneously carry 9,500 standard passenger cars unprecedented. With a length of 228 meters and beam of 37.8 meters, it's huge. It was built by Jiangsu Jinling Shipyard of China Merchants Group. The process took two years with hundreds of engineers and specialists. Its body uses premium grade marine steel, resistant to ocean fatigue. It has 13 decks, 10 fixed, and three adjustable for loading flexibility. The main engine runs on low sulfur diesel, ready for methanol conversion. A hybrid system with shaft generator and battery reduces fuel use. At 18 knots, its range reaches a stunning 16,000 nautical miles. Fuel consumption is 10% lower than the previous generation ships. Over 1,300 sensors monitor vibration, temperature, fuel, and structure. A smart management system tracks the vessel's real-time stability. Software predicts engine performance and schedules preventive maintenance. These techs reduce carbon emissions by up to 14% compared to past. Estimated construction cost per ship is around 640 million yuan. SAI has invested 10 billion yuan to build a 14-ship fleet. This investment lowers per vehicle transport cost by about 10%. That reduction boosts China's EV export competitiveness globally. Movable decks allow transport of SUVs and heavy machinery. A wide ramp enables full loading in just three hours. Laser systems guide drivers to each car's designated position. Ceiling sensors prevent SUV roof damage during boarding. The engine features S, C, R, and E, G, R systems to cut N, O, X emissions. A shore power system shuts diesel engines down at port. Its hydrodynamic hull design reduces water and noise resistance. It earned Class A energy certification, meeting IMO 2025 standards. The summer dead weight is 21,000 tons, setting a new benchmark. An automatic ballast system maintains ship balance in all conditions. Hydraulic sensors compensate for weight shifts during long voyages. Such precise balance reduces capsize risk in rough open oceans. Its maiden route is from Shanghai to Europe via the Cape of Good Hope. It covers 16,000 miles in 40 days at cruising speed. Destination ports include Bristol, Rotterdam, Antwerp, and Hamburg. On return, it carries European parts back to Chinese factories. The ship needs only 24 crew members thanks to smart automation. 360-degree cameras ensure zero blind spots for safe night sailing. A facial recognition system grants engine room access to authorized crew. This level of automation cuts crew-related costs by 30% annually. It has dual emergency engines to maintain movement and breakdowns. Water mist fire suppression protects each deck independently. A digital safety library trains crew for potential risk scenarios. All rescue equipment activates in under three minutes if needed. The ship is fully prepared for carbon neutral methanol fuel. Double wall tanks enable easy switch from diesel to methanol. This transition cuts 50,000 tons of CO2 emissions per year. ZIC aims for a fully green fleet by 2030. Global rivals like Hoag Norway carry 9,100 vehicles max. Anji Ansheng beats them by 200, taking world's top spot. China now owns the largest EV shipping fleet worldwide. Rising exports increase China's EV share in European markets. Each trip carries over $1 billion worth of vehicles to Europe. This boosts China's battery and chip supply chains directly. 
It also creates new jobs for sailors and marine engineers. Local governments offered port fee discounts to support the routes. SAIC plans to increase fleet capacity to 15,000 cars by 2027. New orders will include hydrogen engines and semi-autonomous driving systems. Future decks may carry electric buses for global delivery. These Chinese vessels form the backbone of green maritime trade. Fast delivery helps launch new car models quicker in Europe. It could raise market excitement and demand significantly. Meanwhile, rivals must upgrade their capacity to stay competitive. In the end, technology race benefits both consumers and the planet. Official Specs Length 228 meters, beam 37.8 meters, draft 9.6 meters, confirmed. Fuel tank holds 4,800 cubic meters, with cold storage for safety. Engine power is 12,200 kilowatts. Max speed is 19 knots. Its IMO number is 1021386, and it sails under Liberian flag. Keel was laid in March 2024, hull finished by September. Sea trials began January 2025 and completed three months later. Delivery happened on May 15th, with loading the same day. Its sister ship, Angie Soundness, began its inaugural voyage on June 13th. All cargo data streams live to SAIC's blockchain platform. Customers can track vehicles and view delivery status in real time. An early warning system alerts any potential delays ahead. This transparency has boosted trust in Chinese auto brands. Shanghai Port built special EV loading lanes for this ship. This infrastructure halved dock time for loading, unloading. Bristol Port installed new ramps matching the megaship specs. Such port ship coordination sets new RORO standards globally. European builders now seek licenses for China's methanol tech. That can bring engineering revenues to Chinese shipyards. Developing countries are ordering smaller versions for regional use. China, by selling know-how, globalizes its shipping value chain. Onboard videos have gone viral on Chinese social media. Users call it a floating city of cars with admiration. Say I see's MG ads now presented as a symbol of global trust. This branding may accelerate Western sales of Chinese EVs. China's government subsidizes low carbon shipbuilding heavily. IMO's strict regulations push green tech innovation forward. Methanol fueled ships can preempt 2030 sulfur cut rules. The global shipping race has now entered a green era. Now that you know the size, cost, and future of this giant, like the video to see more advanced ship tech next time. Comment and tell us which feature excited you the most. Subscribe so you won't miss China's next maritime breakthrough.